the line. Keating turns and comes in towards the middle. Ball is taken a wee nick there off Rob Hennessy to find Aaron Drynan. Play continues. Drynan trying to shake off Branifog. Drills one across the box, takes a deflection there. Tonda nips in there, gets a strike away. Excellent defender from Nando Pineacker. Pushes it out for a corner and City have their first set piece of the game. Nando had to be there, Donald. Was kind of going to go into the back of the net from Tunde, but a uh, grip of the play from Drynan, first of all. And uh, ball burned up by Old Abbey. And lucky enough for Slag Roars, and the point was there and prevented a certain goal. Fair. Brown Fox finds Barlow, gets to the byline once again, gets the ball into the box. Mata gets a head on a great oh save yes! into the back of the net. Max Mata with his 11th goal of the season. Get it. Excellent header from Max Mata. What power he got on that one to force it beyond Jimmy Corcoran into the top corner. Corcoran did get a hand on it, but there was nothing he could do to keep that one out. And Sligo Rovers have the lead here thanks to Max Mata's 11th goal of the season. Absolutely, Don. Yeah, great ball into the box. And Mata doing what all good strikers do on the end of it. And great header by Corcoran. And just what Sligo Rovers wanted. I think only about half an hour gone in the game. And certainly uh, a great time to score. Great finish. Very strong, powerful header from Max Mata. His 11th goal of the season. Caelan Barlow's fifth assist of the season. And it's Sligo Rovers who lead here. Mata, first time ball to Stefan Radosajevic. Radosajevic gets away from Honohan who slips. Still with Radosajevic. Speeds over in front of him here for Stefan Radosajevic. Can he get the strike away? Oh. Too easy though, straight at Jimmy Corcoran. Big, big chance passed up there by Stefan Radosajevic and Sligo Rovers. And here come Cork City. Loose pass there. Goes straight out of play for a throw into the bit. Taking his time, trying to set the ball. Eventually he gets it right. Sends one towards the back post. Straight in on the keeper. Yeah! It looks like you and Brownabout scored straight from the corner. He stands there with his arms open. Players running over to him. That ball went straight in from the corner kick. Sligo Rovers double their lead thanks to Johan Brownabout's first goal in the bitter rain. Oh, we mentioned in the first half one, he's wicked for most deliveries and he's caused all sorts of trouble in the, in the court defence of that one and ended up into the back of the net. So, delight, delight there, 2 0. He's been chipping in with plenty of assists, has Johan Branifak, since his arrival here in the showgrounds. But that's his first goal. I don't think he saw it coming from a corner. And again, Rona, maybe the conditions here playing their part in that one, but they all count. And Johan Branifak has his first goal in Sligo Rovers colours, direct from a corner kick. And it's Sligo Rovers 2, Cork City nil. Lafferty launches one towards the edge of the box where Max Matta is there to hold it up. He tries to play in Radisaevich, but Matta's going to go himself, gets away from Hona, and the ball comes across. Too close to Corcoran, he spilled it, and Matta's yeah. yeah. poking into the back oh. of the net. Sligo Rovers have a third. And Jimmy Corcoran won't want to see that one again. As Stefan Radisaevich nips in to get his third goal of the season. It looked for all the world, Ronan, that Corcoran had it covered, but it just squirted away from him at the last minute. And Radisaevich was alert to roll it away from him and just knock it into the back of the net. Sligo Rovers 3, Cork City nil. Looks like this one's done and dusted, Ronan. Oh, don't really feel sorry for Corcoran, but Stefan was there. He, you know, he was alert and he had to make the finish. And probably the one the won't be the best goal he's ever scored, but uh, he certainly will be one for the one for the scrapbook. But uh, uh, Jimmy Corcoran, you know, he he know himself he'll have to do better. But uh, for Sly Growers, it's it's brilliant. It's it's three up, and you're nearly home and home stage. Second home game in a row that Sligo Rovers have scored three goals. Second home game in a row that Stefan Radosajevic has got on the score he's, sheet. You know, he's came to the team since uh, Reese Hutchinson's injury, and certainly uh, it's. So we'll actually find it hard to get back in the team. The weather really not helping Cork City here at all. Everything to throw forward is getting thrown straight back at them. Rada Sajvich nearly has a second as he gets a strike away, but it's well blocked there by City. And a bit of pulling and grabbing there in the box leads to a City free out, but Rover's knocking on the door for a fourth goal here, Ronan. There, yeah, Donald, yeah. Stefan wants a second, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets it, but uh, still plenty of time. And just a word on the crowd, Ronan. We mentioned at the start of the game that... Uh, we weren't expecting as big a crowd as usual here in the showgrounds given the weather conditions, but 2,236 the official attendance here in the showgrounds this evening. Yeah, great crowd going. Horrible evening for a game of football, but uh, certainly the crowd got uh, 
So they came for three points and three great goals as well. So hopefully this is way as well. Certainly play their part in what looks like it's going to be a victory for Sligo Rovers. Looks like Stanja Levich is standing over this one for Cork City. Big wall there for him to get around. Stanja Levich just steps up to the ball and drills it and deflects it off the crossbar. Bounces away. Browning has a swing at it eventually. Moorhead clears it, but big chance there for Cork City. And if that just sums up their evening, I think we're on the way. The ball took a deflection, hit the crossbar, bounced down off the line, and bounced away again. They've had nothing going for them this evening, Ham City. No, they haven't done, and they were frustr <laughs> the frustration there from the Cork players who thought it was in, but uh, it's like Rovers will be relieved. As we come towards the business end of the season, no doubt a big three points here will do a lot to ease the relegation fears that might have just been creeping into the back of Sligo Rovers fans' minds here this year. Not where they wanted to be this season at all, but as I said before the kickoff running, this is where they are, so they got to make do with it. And here comes Stefan Radosajevic once again. Skips away from Jordan, or Gordon Walker, gets the return ball from Will Fitzgerald. Good defending there, though, by Walker. Sends it forward towards Oval Abbey, but again, Pinehacker gets there ahead of him. Lucas Browning now. Radosajevic on the edge of the box, turns. Rolls one through to Will Fitzgerald, squares it. Who's there? Martello has a swing and a miss at it. Did get a touch on it though. But nothing meaningful as John O'Donovan sends one towards Kevin Kostovic. Turns, goes back towards his own goal. Pedro Martello went lunging in there. And Onahan comes across to Gordon Walker. Owalabi. Again, loses out to Nando Pineacker as we're about Ooh. halfway through Ooh. the four minutes of added time here. Pineacker goes down under the challenge of Stanja Levich is there. A free in to the home side. And you can see how frustrated he was there, Ronan, as he gave away that free. Yeah, it's a frustrated challenge to one. It's, an, it's a tired challenge. And Pineacker kind of slammed his way through a few court players there and bought a free kick and bought a bit of time for Side Rovers as well. Lucas Browning standing over the free now. Radosajevic is making a run there. But Browning just taking his time. Obstacle short to Danny Lafferty. Will Fitzgerald. And the referee Rob Hennessy brings things to a close here. An echo of booze coming from the Cork City fans away to our left-hand side. But the 2,236 strong crowd here in the showgrounds running for the most part will be quite happy with what they saw tonight. Oh, they will, Don, yeah. We mentioned before on a horrible evening, atmosphere, a horrible evening weather-wise, and going into the game, you're kind of hoping for for the best, but uh, certainly three goals, three points, it's uh, it's, uh, it's just what's required just going into the season.